there it is hello I don't know what all got lost there but I feel like it's been quite some time anyway since we've made a video where it's just all of us hanging out you and me me and you and Hannah wasn't around but she's here so we have to together deal with it anyways uh, I'm just kidding I love my wife are you listening have seen the uh, test day videos during that whole time there's been a lot of stuff going on just to get you caught up really really fast on a few things that are going on one we're gonna be building a pro 2 car two we got this sick f350 total blessing just completely 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 orchestrated by divine power which i believe is to be god you can believe whatever you want. I think this truck has been a huge blessing. Three would be, you guys already know Nick and I teamed up. What else happened? I forgot. We're having a baby! Just kidding. No, no we're not. <laughs> we are absolutely not having a baby. I forgot what else was going on. We saw Endgame. Endgame was sick. I will not spoil it for any of you, because uh, that's not cool. The uh, Fiat is no more. It's gone. That's how we got this truck. The Fiat just transformed into a really big black dually F350, which is sick. And the Missile Mary giveaway is going on. It's still live right now. Make sure you sign up for the support team, because one of you guys on the support team is going to win the Missile Mary. You can buy as many stickers and steering wheels as you like. There is a special limited edition steering wheel that is specifically for the Missile Mary giveaway. I thought it would be a good idea to do something like that. Actually give you something back. Like the stickers dope, don't get me wrong, and I really appreciate everybody. It's more of like an affordable way to help support the team, where the steering wheel is like, here's something you get back. But you never know who's gonna win. I don't know who's gonna win. If I did, that wouldn't be cool at all. I just want to give you guys that update, and I appreciate every single one of you who have subscribed, liked, commented, sub subscribed to the uh, support team, gotten involved with the giveaway, been here for us since the beginning. The YouTube channel is growing. I constantly see you guys' comments about how this channel deserves more subscription, this video de deserves more views. That is completely up to you guys. You guys are the backbone of the channel. Without you, the channel doesn't work. Without you, the word about the channel going on doesn't get out. If you believe that, I want you to share this stuff, tell people about us, comment, do whatever you, whatever you feel is necessary to help us grow because there's no reason that we shouldn't grow. I think that I like our content and I don't want to put out filler content like this right now, but we're going to do it anyways because you guys want to see me talk and hear me talk and see me drive and the things I'm doing, which is odd and weird because my wife hates when I talk and 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 talk He just talks a lot. I just talk a lot. I need to get it out. This is my way to get it out. When Frankie's not available or Anthony's not available or Hugo's not available and my wife's not available and Pawnee's not available, you're next on my list. So listen up. Anyways, today we are getting rid of the red truck, unfortunately. As many of you know, I inherited the red truck after my dad passed away in 14. So I didn't earn it. I didn't do anything to deserve it. He didn't buy it for me. I don't really care what you think about me, but I don't want the idea of my parents are paying for everything for me to somehow circulate around the internet because that's just like foolishness. It's not what happened. The red truck took a poop. And after the red truck took a poop, I had to figure out what to do. And so we made some phone calls, got a hold of some friends, and found this truck. And then we made some more phone calls, figured out how we could get rid of the Fiat in order to afford the truck. And that's what we were able to do. I do not come from some like crazy rich family or whatever, which doesn't really matter, but I kind of, I wish I did. <laughs> Everybody hates, this is my problem, this is my problem. Here's, what, here's my problem. The problem is people hate on people whose parents have laid some type of foundation to now where their kids can go and build their dreams off of it. I don't knock people whose parents have sacrificed so that their kids can achieve whatever the heck they want to do. Because in, 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 in a way, your parents do have done that. And if your parents haven't, then it's your responsibility to do that for your children. This is my view. Anyways, the point is, so we're selling the red truck, we're getting rid of the Missile Mary, we got rid of the Fiat, and we're gonna be building a Pro 2 car, and because of you guys and our partners, because of you guys, we have partners, and because we have partners, they're willing to help us out a lot. The motor's already over at CBM. You guys watched us go over there and drop the engine off. 
It's already being built. It's almost done. If you've been following me on Instagram, I've been posting photos of the process and the thing is a monster. I'm so, so, so excited to see what we can do with this engine. So if you haven't guessed already, we're planning on making 700 wheel horsepower naturally aspirated. I think we're gonna get really close to it. So does Bruce from CBM, but it just means that instead of us having to run extra weight and having a turbo and manifolds and intercooler and all this extra piping and more oiling and more oil cooling and all this stuff that that is required of a turbo engine. We are just gonna have a higher strung motor. Instead of our motor hitting boost and having certain high compressions at 3,500 RPMs to 7,000 RPMs, now we have high compression at idle all the way to the top. So we're a, a, a high compression V8 is essentially a 1J that is boosting at full boost, but we're just doing it all the time without all the extra stuff. But it is gonna require more maintenance. It's essentially a little bit more stress and wear and tear on things because you don't have that mellow idle, nothing's going Going on, motors kicking back, it can relax, where it's constantly like, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Kind of thing. Does that make sense? Does that make sense, babe? No, she doesn't get it. Point is, our motor is gonna be high strung, like my wife. And so. <laughs> Not high strung. <laughs> yes, you are very much so a Jay Z. What? You're a Jay Z. I am clearly a V8. No, you're a Jay Z. What? I'm a V8. You're a I'm a Beyonce. <laughs> So you're an SR. What? We? Sorry guys with the SRs. Do you, you don't even know. See? <laughs> Typical SR. <laughs> We're going. We're gonna go get rid of the red truck and it's kinda sentimental because it was my dad's truck. It's okay though, because if he was here, he'd be super stoked on this truck right here. He'd be like, get rid of the red one. No doubt. No doubt at all. And I'm also gonna be taking my car from my mother's house where you've always seen me shoot videos and I'm moving it to my in-laws house because that's where we're living right now. Man, is Shane broke? The idea is to have the car there and be able to work on it and service it where I'm living instead of having to drive across town in order to work on the car. So getting the boys to come over after work is gonna be a lot easier and help out and stuff, all the stuff I'm trying to do. But also it's just gonna put the car right in front of me all the time with my tools with uh, some space as well. You guys know in my mom's garage, it's super, super, super tight. Also, one of these other things that came up, this is all gonna get cut up, and Hannah's gonna have to deal with this whole conversation again. Sorry, but like... SRs, I swear. We are talking about doing some type of video, interview, podcast style thing, where there's maybe a few of us who just kinda sit around and talk about things on YouTube Live. Maybe you guys would like that, I don't know. Maybe you'd hate it. We're more than likely gonna start doing it. We'll have to set up a certain night. We still have the Tub Time series, which we are getting more people. Let me know who else you guys want in Tub Time as well. That helps me get ideas on who you wanna see interviewed. Maybe who you think would be fun to hang out with me. And what's your opinion? Let me know your opinion on this. What's your opinion on me doing funny things on my channel? Or I should say, me attempting to do things that I think are funny. Does a driver that is funnier get taken less serious? Or does all that go away when the driver is just a sick driver? Like, does it not matter your personality when you're a driver? Because I feel like I'd rather be funny and really good at driving than just be a freaking jerk and be good at driving or be a douche like some of the people we know and be a good driver. I don't know, I didn't say nothing. I didn't say nothing. We're gonna hook up to the trailer and go to my mom's house, load the car up, and get to the new garage. So we'll show you that today. That's what we're doing. Ready, babe? No. <laughs> SR. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Wow. Wow, with the trailer, because we're picking up the car. I really like this setup. I washed the truck. I didn't wash the trailer. I need to take the trailer. You can kind of see that there's some things that need to be touched up. Tires are getting bald too, because I've been hauling the S7 around for Celine so much lately. Hit the fence once, but the whole rig's here. Set up pretty sick. This is the truck. Brand new tires, dude. Getting rid of this thing for like two racks. It needs a motor. Oh well. So to kind of give you an idea of why I want to take my car to the other house, because that's the walkway on this side, and that's pretty much the walkway on this side. We've already tried to get rid of a bunch of stuff, which we've gotten rid of a ton of stuff. We went from a really large house to a smaller house, so we had to bring everything with us. It's really super, super duper packed. My bike's right there. I got a bunch of wheels. Here's the front bumper to my toolbox. I don't know why somebody put a pillow in my toolbox. I keep telling you, Mom, stop putting stuff in my box. Anyways, there's just not a lot of space here. I'll even show you if I walk down this way. I'll say, oh, by the way, the seat's for sale. 650 bucks. Brand new. Just got it last year. Uh, yeah, I can't really 
get out of here just super easy. Gotta like this ninja crawl climb thing. Packed all the way to the brim. Not really any more space. So I'm gonna go over to the other garage. The other garage has a ton of more space. Two car garage and it's pretty much empty. We should have a lot more space to work on stuff. And then in the meantime, we can minimize some of the clutter that's in here. And then when it is time to come back, we can bring the car back. Mom, I love you. I'm not leaving you forever. Relax, don't cry. It's not that big of a deal. house so much history has been made here and then the guy came to look at my dad's truck but he said he's interested in it for sure but he wanted to come look at it before he literally brought money and all that stuff yeah interesting day I'm not an emotional person Hannah can testify I have a heart I'm just not emotional about it like my emotions don't control what I do and I don't always show my emotions but it's hard getting rid of that truck leaving this garage interesting feelings going on right now Boom. All right, so I took a break from filming and I went and played PUBG. I don't apologize. This is the new garage that we're gonna be working on the car and filming a lot of videos in, so I just wanted to kind of introduce you to so it's not awkward. This is a garage, as you can see, a lot less clutter. I have all my wheels, I have my heritage wheels, I have my three-piece US wheels, I got my jack stands, my box, my jack. As you can tell, there's Tons of space for activity. So many activities! Now we have a little bit more space. I'll be doing some more cleaning, getting rid of some of all this stuff over here. And then I'll be moving some of this stuff over here. My bike's here. Luke's here. What's up? The face of the man who yeah. used to edit videos for us and is probably gonna start editing again because now he's not in school. Sick you need, shirt, you need bro! This video and I'll wear myself. Nope. Things I have to do correct one of the camera arms. I bent one of the boxes, super surprisingly. Front bushings, the condor bushings need to be replaced because I didn't, uh, I found a new way to put them in with the SLR arms to make them work a lot better. And I'll be showing you guys how to do that. And I gotta swap a headlight bulb, redo the front end alignment, swap tires on that, swap tires on those. Those, 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 and those. And and possibly swap my seat out to the new circuit seat. I gotta do all my oils. All the oils need to be replaced in this car. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I apologize for the large get. You know, I don't apologize. I'm not sorry about anything. I don't care. I don't care. You want this channel to grow? Suck it up. Just kidding. Love you. Gotta go. Bye.